Hello everyone, this is Kartika and you are on my YouTube channel and today we are doing a hair care video. So this is a hair care routine of mine that I am following religiously. So as you can see in the pictures, I have had short hair, long hair, medium hair, layers, etc. I have tried everything on my hair and I have a very oily scalp. So the end of my hair is uh, really dry. Uh, so I have oily scalp and dry ends. So I usually get uh, a lot of hair fall also because I have some health conditions due to which I get hair fall a lot and also the weather and sometimes it's just the water in Mumbai which is like really pathetic and it just makes my hair really really weak and the hair fall increases when I'm in Mumbai and also there is too much dust and pollution so that also affects my hair a lot and after all of this i'm able to have hair on my head which is like a miracle and i think it's just because i follow this routine uh, religiously and i don't skip any steps so yeah without wasting any time i'll just quickly get into the routine so first we are going to comb our hair and this is with this wooden comb which i recently bought from amazon and using a wooden comb has so many benefits it is really good for your dandruff and also it is really good for your scalp and i am using this wooden comb that i recently got from amazon it's a neem oil infused comb so the comb is put in neem oil for hours and it just infuses the oil in it and then it is packed and sent it to you so this is really really good it smells really good also and this is really good for your hair and scalp so what I'm doing here is I'm just brushing my hair from the bottom to the top. First you have to just remove all the knots from the bottom and then and then comb your scalp and massage it thoroughly for 15 minutes and by combing your scalp like this you are increasing the blood circulation and this is really helpful for growing your hair. You can follow this hair care routine on your hair wash day and it is really easy to follow and I'm just brushing my hair. Uh, from the bottom to top and also from the top to bottom is just massaging your scalp all over so that it just circulates blood all over so after combing my hair i'm gonna use uh, oil massage so i'm using this castor oil that i recently got from kerala and this you can get in any drugstore in kerala and you can also buy it from online or you can uh, just buy it from a general store so i got this and i have mixed coconut oil with it castor oil cannot be used uh, alone because castor oil is really really uh, sticky and it can stick to your hair and it will be really hard to remove after even shampooing for twice and this is the reason why you mix coconut oil or any other natural oil with this and i have mixed coconut oil and i'm gonna apply by this dropper so it just uh, gets directly into the scalp and not on the hair only so i'm just dropping few drops here and there and i'm just gonna massage it as i said castor oil has so many benefits and this is really good for growing your hair and also if you have gray hairs it is also good for preventing that and also it is good for dandruff and it is also good for someone who is trying to uh, get longer hair this is really good to use uh, castor oil with coconut oil if you have never tried castor oil before i would suggest you to try it out for once and use it for at least a year and see the difference that makes in your hair and i have seen a lot of difference i have seen hair growth and also it has really helped me in uh, removing the dandruff on my hair so yeah i really like the castor oil more than just the coconut oil so i have seen one video where they show that you have to put some oil on your crown chakra which actually lies uh, eight fingers above your eyebrow and this is the point where you have to put some oil uh, some extra oil so that it actually initiates hair growth you need to massage that point really well and and the points where you have put oil in your scalp the massage has to be around 15 to 20 minutes it actually initiates blood circulation and the oil uh, absorbs in your scalp and this nourishes your hair also so you have to apply oil and thoroughly massage your scalp 
so you only need to apply oil in your scalp area not on your whole hair uh, you just need to apply the remaining oil on your hair and no need to apply extra oil on your hair because it will get really really sticky and oily so you just need to apply some oil on your scalp only So after the massage I am going to tie my hair up in a hair bun and I'm gonna take 15 to 20 minutes rest and after that I'm gonna wash my hair with shampoo. So you need to give time to absorb the oil in your scalp and you can just tie your hair up and do your household work or whatever work you are doing and then you can wash your hair thoroughly. So after keeping the oil for 15 to 30 minutes, I wash it off with a shampoo. I sometimes use this Wow uh, Onion Seed Shampoo which is sulfate and paraben free. This is really really good. It doesn't create so much of foam but it is really really good. And I also use the same uh, company's conditioner, the Onion Seed Conditioner. This is really really good also. I really like this one. And I also use sometimes the shampoo of another company called uh, Body Shop and this is their ginger shampoo which is really really good for dandruff. This is also sulfate and paraben free which is really really good for your scalp and hair health and I really like this one also and I use this tea tree uh, conditioner for the scalp if I have dandruff on my scalp this is really really good conditioner if you are having dandruff and I also have one more shampoo which is really really good. So this shampoo is specifically for someone who has dandruff issues uh, like a severe dandruff issue. So this is a drugstore product and this is called Scalpy and it is really really good if you have dandruff issues and it, you have to use it one time and you will see a drastic difference in your dandruff. So I use this also sometimes. So currently I have dandruff issues and it is a severe dandruff issue so I am going to use that uh, scalpy shampoo on my hair and I'm also going to tell you how to use it. It's a very easy process not uh, uh, very hard to follow and I'm going to show how to use it. I'm just going to rinse my hair first uh, before applying the shampoo and after rinsing my hair I'm going to take a few drops of this like you can take according to your hair length and uh, so you have to take around two to three spoons of shampoo and dilute it with water so this shampoo actually dries your hair uh, a lot so you have to apply some conditioner after and this is how i apply the shampoo i just dilute it with water and apply it on my scalp area and massage it really well you have to apply the shampoo just like any other shampoo and you have to massage it really well in your scalp and you have to keep it for 10 minutes and then rinse it off because this shampoo actually works on your scalp and so if you have severe dandruff issue this will reduce it for sure and I have seen changes in it so uh, you can use this one. After keeping it for 10 minutes I have rinsed it off and I'm going for my second wash and this is by the normal shampoo that I use and I'm using this Wow's uh, onion seed shampoo and I'm doing the same thing uh, diluting this shampoo with some water and then applying it on my scalp and this is how you should apply shampoo you shouldn't apply shampoo directly on your scalp if you are applying shampoo directly on your scalp, it just get collected at one side and it is really uh, hard to remove then and if you are diluting it with water, it is easy to apply all over your head and you just need a little amount of shampoo also, you don't need a lot of shampoo. that 
that I have not applied any shampoo on the ends of my hair. I have only applied it on the scalp and massaged it in. Whatever shampoo that drops uh, down, I am just going to apply that on my ends of my hair. No extra shampoo for the ends because the ends of my hair are really dry and uh, the scalp is generally very oily. So I am just going to do that. I'm gonna apply some conditioner. I'm using this Wow's uh, onion seed conditioner and this is really good. It is really a good conditioner. So I have seen many people not applying conditioner after shampooing. Uh, it is really good for your uh, hair health if you are applying some conditioner only on the ends of your hair. If your hair are really dry, you should use a conditioner and also a hair mask. And if you have oily scalp just like mine and the dry hair in the end you can only use the conditioner which is really really good for your hair it just makes your hair really smooth and easy to uh, detangle and also really really soft i just like the texture of my hair after conditioning my hair so i'm just gonna keep the conditioner for 10 minutes and then rinse it off and now i'm just gonna wrap my hair in a towel for a few minutes and then dry it off naturally so for drying my hair i don't really use a dryer and i don't use dryer in winters also i just naturally let it dry and you shouldn't also use a dryer on a daily basis because it is gonna ruin your hair health even if you are someone who uses hair dryer on a daily basis please use a heat protectant spray before drying your hair and that will prevent your hair from damaging so i'm gonna let my hair air dry and this is what my hair care routine looks like and this is what i follow on my hair wash day Sometimes when I do feel like I use my uh, hair straightening iron and style my hair which I have done today and this is how my hair looks like after styling my hair. So I haven't used any hair mask or hair pack on my hair today and which I do actually but uh, once in a month only because I don't get time for using it uh, but the hair mask that I use I am gonna mention it in this video and if you want to see a separate video of that please comment down below so yeah this is what my hair care routine looks like I have completely natural hair I don't use bleach or hair color on my hair yet I am planning to do so but uh, we'll see that how it goes and yeah if you like my routine please comment down below also like this video also share it with your friends and yeah subscribe to my channel if you haven't also mention down below if you use any extra steps in the hair care routine which I haven't followed in my routine I would really like to know that so i will mention all the product links in the description box do check that out so yeah i'll see you next time in the next video super soon bye bye